Hey, Hawthorne Bears, it's Mr. Pie. I'm going to take my picture off for a sec in a minute, but I uh, wanted to say hi to everybody. Uh, miss having you guys in school. I miss being in school, but uh, thought today we would do a fraction splat series. So if you've been in fourth or fifth grade, you guys have learned how to add fractions. Other grades, play along. This might be a chance to, to learn uh, some new stuff. Um, so I am going to go ahead and stop my video so you can focus on the awesome math we're about to do. Uh, but before that, I do want to thank Steve White Borney, as always, for creating these splat videos. Um, you can always check out more of his splat nest mystery puzzles at www.stevewhiteborney.com. Or you can uh, find uh, recorded ones that I've been doing on my website, www.mrpythemathguy.com. All right, so let us start on fractions. Okay. What I would like you to do is take a look at all the numbers. Now, a blue dot is a whole. And then we have some fractions on here as well. So add up all together what all these dots are worth. What does this number represent? So go ahead, take a second look at it. If you have somebody in the room with you, go ahead and tell them how many you come up with. Did you get four? Very good. How did you count them? One way to do is count the holes first. So one, two, three. And what fraction are the, each of these? Well, they're cut into four individual pieces with one shaded. So that'd be one fourth, two fourth, three fourths, four fourths. Four fourths would be a hole. And so that would be one hole, two hole, three hole, four hole. Now, if you've watched any of these other splat videos, you know what's gonna happen next, splat. So we've covered up some of the value of this number. So we had four. What I wanna know is what is the value under this splat? So go ahead and think through how could you solve what is under here? Knowing that we have four total, All right, do you think you have an idea? What is the total under the splat then? Go ahead and tell somebody in your, in your house or in, your, uh, in the room with you. And how did you know? All right, is there another way you could have known? I'll tell you when I looked at this, it would be okay, well, I know there's two right here. And there's a fourth right here. So I need to make this a hole. To make this a hole, I'm gonna to have to add one, two, three fourths left. So if I added to that three fourths, that'd give me three holes. Four minus three is one. So hidden on, under here must be one and three fourths. Let's see if we're right. Yep, look, one and one, two, three fourths. So you got two? Excellent. So now let's go on to another one. And I want you to think about what you learned from this picture, because you're gonna use that same strategy on this next puzzle. So here we go. How many do you see there? What value, what number is being represented here? Go ahead and take a look. Let somebody know what, what, how many you think it is and how you know. Do you think you know it? Let's see, did you come up with five? Excellent. Yeah, when I saw it, I saw two on the top, two on the bottom, so I knew that was four. And these are thirds, and there's three thirds, which is a whole, so that must be five. But you know what's gonna come next, right? Splat. What is under that splat? Go ahead and take a minute. Think through how many you think is on there, under there. You think you know it? Well, how many do you think there is? Go ahead and say it out loud. All right. So what strategies could we use? So I talked about one before. Another strategy might be to say, well, what if we were to move this piece under here? That would leave us with just two, and five minus two is three. 
But if we pulled this back out, three minus a third, well, it would take two thirds plus two more here. So I'm thinking two and two thirds. Is that what you guys came up with? Let's see. There's two holes, one, two, and then two thirds. Very good. All right, you ready for the next one? Here we go. Ooh. What is the total of this one? Go ahead, think about how those circles are fractioned. How many did you come up with? Six, is that what you guys got? Excellent, how did you guys count them? I, I'll tell you how I looked at them is I saw, well, here's two halves, so I know that's a hole. Here's two halves, that's a hole, so I've got two holes. And I saw that there's three holes there and one there, so two plus three is five, plus one more is six. Is that how you guys counted them? Simil yeah. All right, well, you know what's gonna come next? Splat. Huh, how many are under that splat? And how do you know? So go ahead and think through it. How many do you think is under that splat? And then we'll, uh, once you've got the answer, I want you to say it out loud, tell somebody in the room. You think you got it? I'll give you a couple more seconds. All right, so as I look at this, I know we have six. There's two holes here and a half. So we have two and a half out. So what is six minus two and a half? Well, I know that six minus two is four, which leaves me with just a half. So four minus a half would be three and a half. Let's see if that's right. One, two, and three halves. But these two halves here would be a hole. So now I have one hole, two hole, three holes, and a half, so it'd be three and a half. Is that what you came up with? Excellent, let's do another one. Ooh, now we're back to fourths. Go ahead and tell me what's the value that you see there. Go ahead, think it through. When you come up with an idea, go ahead and say it out loud. And I also want you to tell somebody how you counted that. All right, how, what did you come up with? Let's see if you were right. Did you get four? Excellent. If not, it's okay. That's why we're doing this. Well, let's see. How did you guys count them? Well, I know when I looked at it, I said, well, I know I've got two holes, but now I've got to deal with all these fractions. These are fourths, and I know that it's going to take four fourths to make a hole. So how many holes do I have? Well, here's four of them, so that's a hole. And here's four more fourths, so that's another hole. So now it's two holes plus three and then four. That's how I came up with it. You know what's coming next though? Splat. How many are under that splat? What is the value of the circles under that flat? Go ahead and look at it. Think it through. Think about uh, what we've done on the previous slides. And when you have an idea, go ahead and say it out loud. All right, do you have an answer? What do you think it is? Let's go ahead and see if you were right. There is one, two, and a fourth underneath there. How I, I'll show you how I thought about it. I know I had one and three fourths. So if I moved one out, that would mean I would have two holes out. Four minus two is two. So if I put that fourth back, it would be two and a fourth. That's kind of how I thought about it. How did you think about it? All right, I'll tell you what, we are gonna do one more fraction splat for today. Are you ready? 
count up how many you see there. What is the value of the dots? You think you got it? Go ahead, think it through, think how you count them, how you're counting them up. And if you know the total, go ahead and say it out loud. All right, you think you got it? Let's see, six, is that what you got? So these are cut in half, because there's two parts, so that this is one half. How many halves make a whole? That's two, because there's two parts, so there's, we look at it here's one hole two holes three holes four holes plus two more holes would be six holes so the answer would be six great job okay you know what's coming next splat what is under that splat and what i also want to know before you even tell me that is how many are outside the splat because now we have one whole, but then we have three halves. So what would be the value outside of the splat? How many did you come up with outside of the splat? Well, here's one, here's two halves, so that's another whole and another half. So we have two and a half outside. So we have, if we have two and a half outside, how many is underneath? Go ahead and think. If you know the answer, go ahead and say it out loud. All right. Let's go ahead and take a look. What number did you say? Did you come up with three and a half? Excellent. Because that's what it would be, because we have one hole, two, three, three and a half. You know, when we first learn how to add, we do counting up. We could do something similar there. If we knew that this was two and a half, well, one more half would make three, and then we can just keep adding up four, five, six. So we added three holes plus a half, meaning that there was three and a half under here. Awesome job, Hawthorne Bears. I'm glad um, you, you came and watched the video. I hope you had fun with this fraction splat. I'm gonna be posting some more splats uh, tomorrow and throughout spring break even. So keep an eye on the website. Um, stay safe and healthy guys. We sure miss you. Cannot wait to see you back in school. See ya.